Good morning and welcome. Jilly Cube here. I'm on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Today I'm doing another one of the balloon art magic. Um, I've done several of these before and I just use acrylic paint and water. But there's a couple of um, new things I'm going to use in here which I was inspired by a channel called Paint Danish Paint and Tech. Um, and he does um, mostly this particular, similar techniques to this, but on walls as wall decorations. Now, my brothers were master painter and decorators in the United Kingdom and have done loads of different techniques as wall decorations. So I'm really thinking that I should get my brothers to show a few techniques and tricks of the trade. Um, what I've done there is just use that acrylic paint and water only to sort of mix a bit in that lid I've got there. It really is better if, if it's thin, thin uh, watered down quite well, as hence why I'm adding a little bit more water. I think the guy on Danish Paint and Tech uses oil paint and mineral terps. Maybe that is better if you paint in a wall. Um, I find these techniques come out so much better if you're using like a formica board. It's it's just like it's kind of like the formica you might have put on your work surface because uh, it's got a shiny top, and I find it just works awesome at doing all sorts of balloon magic. So I'm just gonna sort of go through different things you can do with a balloon and I'll jump in when I use the other techniques that um, Danish Paint and Tech used. Um, hope you enjoy! So look at these just absolutely awesome effects you can get with just the humble old balloon paint and water. Um, and I see absolutely no reason why you couldn't do exactly the same technique um, on a wall as wall art, you know, directly onto a painted wall. Um, that's what the guy that I see in Danish Paint and Tech do. So, um, It'd be interesting, I might have to try on a blank wall somewhere or even on a door, um, these techniques. So you can make some really awesome 3D effects. And I do find like keep um, wiping your balloon. And also if, if the sort of board gets a bit dry, um, certainly spray some water on your board, just with a little spray um, bottle. And then you can keep starting over again. But what I find really awesome about this particular um, effect you get is that you can stop at any time that you really like your design and take some photos. I'll just take them with my iPhone. Take some nice close-up photos with your resolution on your phone set to high and you have got some awesome um, photos to use for prints and it can be a part of your art piece or a whole piece but where you get some fantastic effects in this particular technique it's really nice to take photos to use as prints or like people like just a uh, monochromic meaning just the one color um, it's a very fashionable now so I'm told and they do look great so just another little idea for you
So now for an idea that I got off um, the Danish channel that I just mentioned. Um, he filled a plastic bag with sand. Well, I hadn't got sand, so I just used some caster sugar. And look at these awesome effects you can get with just a plastic bag and this was sugar. If you've got sand, then great. I mean, I'm going to try, I think, um, plastic bag filled with rice. It just helps create these absolutely beautiful techniques. Yes, you can do it in any color. I've done it in reds, purples, green. I just wanted to do something monochromatic. Um, and there you go. I'm getting a bigger bag now, filled with the same, filled with sugar and it gives a whole different effect. Look, it's almost like a bow. I think I'll bring you in in a second or two to show you these awesome effects you can get. But they, when the more you work on the, on the board, the more 3D kind of floating effects they give. But look at that. I mean, I know now where they must get the ideas to create wallpaper with these designs that you think, how has that been created? Because they're um, absolutely awesome. It's so much fun to do, and it's just so easy. Um, anybody can give this a go, just water and paint. And yeah, I'm gonna, gonna get a door and have a go on a door <laughs> and see if I can get these wonderful effects. But um, yeah, please have a go. I'll bring you in closer to have a look at these effects. Wow, so much fun in one day. Look at those effects. They really kind of look, you can see the depth as though you're falling down into the center of those, like that. The... Super cool effects with just acrylic paint and water and a balloon. So if you wanna give it a go at doing these, and that was just, uh... Plastic bags filled with sugar for different effects in there. You see, if you, you could put, look at the wonderful effects from just a plastic bag with sugar. Beautiful. All fun techniques. You can actually do these techniques on a wall to um, the kind of a 3D technique you can do on a wall, probably using, or you could just use acrylic paint the same. It's an um, easy technique for wall texture. I know my brother in the UK has been doing these kind of techniques on walls in his painting decorating business for years. And they're all popping up on the YouTube videos now everywhere as though it's a new thing and it's actually an old one, older way of creating patterns on your walls or um, decor so just something interesting again I thought you might like so it definitely gives off the 3d vibes 